Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Final Fantasy Tactics with the content patch. Alright, let's continue. So we saved. Yeah, we saved, we're good to go. So right off the bat, we are launched right into another battle, but this time we have actually con we have some control. We're going to start out with Ramza as a squire, and then we got a bunch of other characters we can choose from. Um, we can check out their status, and some of these characters have bow guns. This is one of the new things to, for, to the content patch, or the patch in general. Um, squires and chemist, ki or sorry, actually I think it's squires only. Yeah, squires can actually use uh, crossbows, which is actually kind of useful because crossbows are usually are ar archers never use uh, crossbows; they use longbows because they're better. So squires being able to use bow guns is a good thing makes them actually have some range use, uh, use besides throw stone. As for crossbows, crossbows are also better. All crossbows have the ability called double shot, which means there's a chance every time you attack that you will hit twice. So if you hit and it procs, you do another hit for the exact amount, around the same amount of damage. So it's very powerful stuff. Special, so there you go. So that'll make up for the fact that crossbows generally do a lot less damage than longbows. So, that's the general gist of it. As for who we're going to use... Let's see... Well, it doesn't really matter who I'm going to use, so... Because I'll explain after this battle. Let's just pick people who have decent health. Okay, you have the best health out of the chemist, so I'll take you. Actually, one thing we can check... Okay, no, I can't check it. So I can't check their skills. Okay, good to know. You have a broadsword, you can have that. You have a bow gun. Let's do some equal opportunity here. Here we go. And oh, you both have bow guns. Awesome. Alright, let's get this started. You can have up to five characters. Sometimes you're limited to down to four, or if you're doing a split attack, it can uh, split up your groups. In this battle, you can go up to five. Five is the max in any battle, so there you go. Um, we're going to have one guest with us, so we'll actually have six. Guest you can't control. What's this? Just a bunch of kids. What luck. Okay, all we have to do is kill these kids, and then we can escape. Don't worry. We'll kill every one of you. Oh, okay. I won't worry then. Conditions for winning. Defeat all enemies. Ready. Okay. Is this name Butter? Oh, Buster. Aww. Just down. Hey, guarded. Uh, equip change allows you to change your equipment in the middle of battle. It's completely and utterly useless. Just down. Wow, I start out with a nice variety of items. Ah, can't reach. Deciding your facing is important. It decides your hit chance and how much... Uh, it, it decides your evasion chance whenever you get attacked. There's Delita. He's our guest, so he just does whatever he wants. Right now, everything is being done in range with throw stones. Um, passing your action does have some benefits. It means your next turn will come sooner. So if you move and don't do anything, uh, you'll have your turn a lot faster than if you move and attack. Ramza, watch out. Don't rush them. Don't patronize me, Delita. I'm also a Bella of... Bella of... The Bella of family? So you must be cadets from the military academy, snot those little nobles. Silence. Surrender or die in obscurity. What can a bunch of kids like you do? A bunch of spoiled punks like you'll, uh, like you'll never beat us. Alright, it's our turn. What do we start out with? Cheer up. That's it. Wow. Okay. Whatever. Yes, move here. Wait. Yeah, 
yeah, go ahead and move here. You got basic skills, you have thirst down. Another benefit of Throw Stone is it can sometimes force a character to fall backwards, one square, which can also do extra damage if you fall far enough. So you have Throw Stone. Okay, well I can't reach with my crossbow, but I can reach with Throw Stone. No, I can't. Uh, the reason it says infinite, uh, zero percent chance is because even though I can, re uh, my AOE reaches it, um, well, it's, what it means is that my throw stone will probably hit a wall or something. Okay, I can attack with this. Bam. Oh. So I hit, but and got the uh, double shot to proc, but the the second shot missed. Apparently this is a good time to like level up characters or do job skills or whatever, but I'm not going to worry about that. Because, quite frankly, I'm going to get rid of all these characters except for Ramza. For a particular reason. Just down. Ow. I'm gonna attack from behind for a hundred percent chance. Get some of that. Can't get in there. Oh come on, eighty one percent. Funny thing about using items, um, it doesn't is it isn't affected by uh, elevation. Yeah, funny, funny thing about a crossbow is it shoots straight, which means if I even if I do this hex here. I'll still be able to attack him. Good evade. Down he goes. Now, now, um, Notice that he's down, but he has a number above his head. As that ticks down, um, if it hits zero, his body will disappear and he'll either leave behind a treasure box, which will have an item, or a crystal, which will have all of his skills. And you can learn, um, if you put someone up onto it, onto the crystal, you can learn all the skills that that character knows. Now, in the original game, they cheaped it to the point where you, uh, not get very much out of it. What I mean by that is, like, you can get the crystal, but they'll only have, like, two skills. In the content patch, that's not the case. They'll have a lot of skills. Not in, the, not in this battle, but in most battles. Oh, come on, 90%? And I missed? Oh. I'm glad he healed me, but I think that was my high potion he from my inventory. And I got issues with that. Get 
wow, I'm missing a lot. <laughs> like a ridiculous amount. It's actually quite amazing. I don't think I can reach with any of my skills. Nope, not quite. You wait here. I probably shouldn't because I, apparently I'm going to miss every freaking it. Oh, at least they're missing too. It's just misses all around. Another guard. Can, like, someone please hit? Probably gonna hit me now. Nope. No one's hit yet, and so far the percentages have been above 50%. Just saying. There we go. Finally got a hit in. It's actually kind of good, because it means I have more time to, uh, to get the crystals, but it is getting kind of annoying that I'm missing 80 and 90% over and over again. Well, at least you did something, Delita. Now you're gonna resurrect him? Yes, you are. Well, you're gonna use Wish, which is a Squire, uh, squire skill, imagine that. Squires can actually resurrect people to 1 H HP. It's actually rather impressive. I guess I haven't really explained any of the job classes. Squires are just the basic grunts. Um, in this patch, they have a lot of support skills that are free, which are rather nice. Um, the chemists are the item users. They start. Their basic skill is uh, well, their primary skill is just to be able to use items, and they have the ability to throw items, so they can use items on characters from a distance, which is rather useful. They also start out with, they automatically have the ability to um, resist any, uh, what's it called, steals or weapon breaks, so you don't have to worry about their gear being stolen or broken. Yeah, it's 67%, that's fine. but that's okay. I'll deal with it. I always choose no for some reason. There we go. Now what I want you to do is start heading for the next items. 
Yeah, it's a little slow and tedious, but I, if it can get me some free skills early on, I certainly would not mind it. Especially if it get me things like item skills. trying to cast regen on myself. Crystal. Definitely want that. You gotta be careful about guests, though. They might try to uh, steal your uh, crystals. Yay, recover some health. Yay, another crystal. Get abilities. Uh, we can get... All these item skills, we now automatically know them. Which means we don't have to grind for them. Now some of them actually cost zero uh, gel points to learn, but it's good to have them anyway. Okay, moving to the corner. Thank you. Please stop using my high potions. Freaking Delita. It won't be so bad once I actually have, you know, money. That's a treasure box. I'll grab that later. We might not be able to get the chest in time. No, don't go there. Go there. Nope, no skills to learn from that. Also, crystals that don't have skills can just give you uh, a full MP and HP. You know what? I'm just gonna kill him. I don't need the items here. Why do you continue committing acts of ro like robbery? You wouldn't have died this way if you led uh, an honest life. So there you go, battle over. And you get a bunch of money, and a mythical knife, and two phoenix downs. Okay, here's the other glitch I mentioned in the previous video. I'm just gonna skip through the destroyer stuff. Is you can only see the map while moving, or if, the, if as long as there's animation on the map, um, you can see the map, but if there's no animation besides the cursor, um, you cannot see the map. Anyway, uh, there's the bar. There's a bunch of stuff about the rumors. I'm not gonna worry about the rumors. It ain't worth reading. And then there's the soldier office, which we'll be uh, paying a visit to. Wow, 
Why is a female fighter cheaper than a male fighter? Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and get to our formation here. We start out with all these characters, including Delita. Now... As you can see, I now know all these skills. Very convenient. I'll deal with that later. But what I want to do... Oops, wrong buttons. It's been a while since I played this. There we go. We're gonna remove all these items. So as far as I know, there's no way to change the character's name once you get them. So I want to replace them with the characters I want. So there you go. So all these characters are going to be going bye-bye. Uh, to a point. It really depends if I can afford it. Because, <laughs> as you can see, soldiers are a little expensive. We need four characters, so that means we need at least 6,000 war funds. So we have enough for three. But not four. Yeah, the thing is, there, you have the option to change names, but only for monsters, which is stupid. So let's just go to the shop. Equipped the two characters. Well, we can sell four of these. We can sell four of these. Actually, I screwed that up. Oh well. I'm pretty sure you, the the uh, the characters you pick up start out with some basic gear. I want to say that. So two of these. That's what I need to sell. Two of them. And then I got a mithril knife. That's nice. So one dagger. Can you even use this? No, you can't. Why do we have this? I mean, it's nice that we start out with it, but... I don't exactly understand why I'm starting out with it. Power source? Oh, apparently we start out with a power source. We start out with a lot of stuff. We can sell this power source if we really want to. In fact, I might, because... I don't think I'll ever use it. There's also this holy water that, uh, that cancels out undead. Okay. That's fine. Which means, I, one way or another, I'll have enough money. I'll have enough to uh, get four new characters. So what we're going to do is remove the units. You dump people just like that? Damn right I do. Hey, come on, you really mean it? Yes. So you're sure about that? I thought we were friends. I don't even know who you are. Don't say that, please. I, I'll be more help. You're pretty good, but I'll, I need to get rid of you. Oop. And... If that's what you want, but are you sure? So you're the most agreeable one. I don't want to go. Let me stay a little longer, please. No. And you can't get rid of Delita. So there you go. There's only the two of us. And I'm going to make four new characters. This is where you guys come in. You guys are going to tell me... Uh, essentially, all you guys need to tell me is four classes you guys want to see. Um, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and include the link that I included in the previous video to show off all the job classes. Most of you guys are familiar with them, but just remember, this is the content patch, which means a lot of classes are different. Like... Abilities. Yeah, there's a bunch of new abilities now. And squares get to learn weapon guard instead of knights, which is nice. You also learn counter throw, which is kind of an interesting ability. And here's new plus one. So yeah, all I need to know is you need to tell me a gender, 
in a, in a job class. Now, I might not be able to get the job class immediately, so you might want to just stick with something uh, early, and if you want to change it, just let me know in, in future videos. Or you can just tell me the end result and I'll try to work towards it. I'm not sure if I'll be doing any grinding off screen. To, uh, really depends on my mood, I suppose. So we'll see how it goes from there. And that's about just about it. So you might. So the faster you guys tell me uh, four classes and four genders, the sooner I can make these uh, characters and actually give them names. And if it's a female, I'll probably give it a Toho name. If it's not a female, I'll come up with something. I do have my list of names for Blood Bowl, so we'll go with that. And here, you could have... Maintenance. Alright, let's go ahead and set these skills. Item. Weapon Guard. Oops. Maintenance. And move plus one. Move plus one is explanatory, it just gives you an extra movement, so now I move six per turn. Maintenance makes you immune to brick techniques as well as um, stealing. Weapon guard parries attacks with uh, equipped weapon. Item is a chemist job command, allows you to use items. And then guts is a special command for Ramza specifically, as Ramza, uh, Ramza gets a few different abilities than most players, though nothing that fantastic. Also, some of, a lot of the guests have different abilities as well. Not in the case of Jalita though. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and call this a video. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Final Fantasy Tactics. As always, it's going to be first come, first serve. Only tell me one class, one gender, please. It's one one character per person. And that's about it. So there you go. See you guys next time.